When I was a little girl, my mother, God rest her soul, left me with Nanny. We lived on a farm then. When my mum came back in from a day's graft, she found me in disheveled clothes. No sign of Nanny anywhere. It transpired, that Nanny, the goat had gone for a snack on the farm, having eaten my clothes. That is almost as preposterous as the tale of a heater being used in a hot country. By the way, before you phone social services it is nothing short of a yarn that I have spun you. The Duchess of Sussex recounted the terrifying experience on her long-awaited Archetypes podcast. The first episode was released on Spotify yesterday with Meghan chatting to guest Serena Williams. The Duchess told how a fire broke out in Archie's bedroom during her and Prince Harry's South Africa tour in 2019. She identified Archie's then nanny, named only Lauren, as a Zimbabwean who liked to tie him on her back with mud cloth. Meghan revealed she learned of the near miss after delivering a speech in the Nyanga Township in Cape Town. She said, there was this moment where I'm standing on a tree stump and I'm giving this speech to women and girls, and we finish the engagement, we get in the car and they say Derry's been a fire at the residence. What? There's been a fire in the baby's room. She identified Archie's then nanny, named only Lauren, as a Zimbabwean who liked to tie him on her back with a mud cloth. While balancing a basket of fruit on her head? Sorry, labeling women again exclamation mark where's Tarzan when you need him? That would have given the story more credibility. No, not Harry in a loincloth silly. Totally ridiculous if this had happened they would have been yelling it loudly, why are they just telling it now why not when it happened, this is just another way to keep them in the spotlight, the UK has lost interest in them, apart from the so-called Sussex squad, and by the looks as if the USA is slowly losing interest. We came back. And, of course, as a mother, you go, oh, my God, what? Everyone's in tears, everyone's shaken. And what do we have to do? Go out and do another official engagement. I said, this doesn't make any sense. Meghan and Prince Harry had dropped their young son off at the housing unit they were staying in for a sleep straight after flying in for their official tour in 2019. The couple then left to kickstart their royal visit with their first engagement. Archie's nanny had taken him downstairs with her while she went to get a snack. Meanwhile, the heater in the nursery caught fire. Megan said, in that amount of time that she went downstairs, the heater in the nursery caught on fire. There was no smoke detector. Someone happened to just smell smoke down the hallway, went in, fire extinguisher. He was supposed to be sleeping in there. The Duchess described how she wanted to tell people what had happened. She said, I was like, can you just tell people what happened? And so much, I think, optically. The focus ends up being on how it looks instead of how it feels. And she urged for more understanding of the human moments behind the scenes. The Duchess added, We had to leave our baby. And even though we were being moved into another place afterward, we still had to leave him and go do another official engagement. Tennis star Serena replied, I couldn't have done that. Later the same day, the Sussexes visited Cape Town's historic District 6 neighborhood met residents in its homecoming center, and heard from people who were forcibly removed to a township during the apartheid era. Harry and Meghan also carried out an impromptu walkabout. The couple's controversial South Africa tour took place in the autumn of 2019, just months before they quit as working royals. During the trip, the former Suits star filmed an interview with ITV in which she told of her struggles with royal life and how she had tried to cope with the pressures by putting on a stiff upper lip. If that was a dangerous fire the fire service would have been called and that would have been picked up by the news services and gone around the world in minutes. She is either a Walter Mitty or an out-and-out -out liar. And stop calling her a suit star she was a bit part actor. What a load of cobblers. But wait for the next installment. This lady had to walk barefooted five miles with the baby on her back to get a bucket of fresh water to put the fire out and when she got back the hut was burnt to a cinder. Why on earth would she a toddler on her back, in her arms would have been much better. Although it is probably another one of me again fairy stories to gain sympathy. So the paranoid to leave their baby with no IPP security and this rescue was down to a lone woman. This scenario is very similar to the suicidal duchess being forced to attend an event after her husband failed to help her situation. Harry could have attended the events leaving him to stay with her baby. This was the same trip that they cried to the world about no one caring about them. I do recall Catherine not accompanying W to a very large event because one of her children was ill. 
So who's the strong woman in this fairy story? More waffles and lies, if this were true it would have been all over the news on the day if not the next day when it happened. More likely someone had a window open whilst they were having a craft cigarette. There is no level this woman will not go to for the limelight. Oh please, I call BS on this. If and I will say it again, there was any truth in this it would have been written about four years ago. This was the first trip as a family and everyone was watching, no didn't happen, too many journalists about to go unnoticed or unwritten. The usual Sussex rubbish. So if I understand this correctly, the baby was being looked after by a nanny that Winter was happy with and a fire broke out in a room neither the baby nor the nanny was anywhere near and the fire was quickly extinguished that but she still complained she had to continue to do the job she went there to do. I'm reading blistering comments about this on another social media site. No one is buying it, and this won't be good news for the Spotify brand. I myself haven't listened to it and have only browsed through her. When I saw the headline to this, I asked myself, how much was the nanny, if she exists, for her silence in something that never occurred? The child was not in the room. For God's sake, who else will this woman use? When will she allow herself to be interviewed by a real interviewer and not a fawning friend? May I suggest Andrew Neal, I promise he will take out his gnashers first, he would still dismantle her with just his gums. She is proving herself to be a non-entity in this world and an attention seeker, she must be missing her life as a second-rate TV actress. I noticed that Dada has now published the information about the nanny, Zimbabwean by birth, and the mud cloth. Rather amusingly, the Dada deactivated my comment, yesterday, and yet here it is in its unedited display. Unbelievable, given the fact that I had sourced the information from the internet. I like to do thorough research. Looks like that it doesn't like that. I am happy to do your research duh. I think you owe me an apology. Is there no way that you can stop repeating these falsehoods? Megan herself said, Archie's nanny had taken him downstairs with her while she went to get a snack. Meanwhile the heater in the nursery caught fire. So he was never at risk, was he? A royal child on an official visit to another country was in such mortal danger. Yet. Nothing was ever reported. No inquiry as to how and why the fire started. Who may have started and many many other questions least of all who was the person who put it out, and how come the person was in the vicinity, yet the nanny who only went downstairs to get a snack did not notice it. There may or may not have been some minute incident, and Mother Dearest is now podcasting it to the world to garner sympathy, pfff, and counterbalance Tom Bauer's book. Move on nothing to see here. Does she really believe we are that gullible to swallow her story?